Welcome back to the channel guys. Sorry I've been a little busy. Woo! Now here's the thing guys. Everyone's excited about that P6. And for good reason. I'm going for a ride to my favorite place right now. It's called Smoothie King. I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's a beautiful place. If you know about it, go for a ride right now towards Smoothie King. Highly recommended. But uh, if you see the road I'm riding on, it's pretty intense. Sorry for the clipping if it's happening. I don't know why this thing does it. But uh, this is like a rural area, not like an inner city. And the roads are wide, you know what I mean? So naturally, you're going to worry about bumps and all that. Which you won't have to worry about on your P6. But another thing you don't have to worry about on your P6 is overpowering it. You don't have to worry about overpowering it. And you certainly don't have to worry about range. Because the wheel you buy determines where you live. Well, where you live determines the wheel you buy. And if you live in a place like this with wide roads, long straightaways, like freeways, then you're going to need something like the Oryx, the P you know, anything above 3,600 watt hours in my opinion. So here it is, Smoothie King. Let's take a look. Yeah. I love Smoothie King, dude. Not for the smoothies. It's more for um, for their toast. They have the most delicious toast. So, a lot of things have been happening, guys, recently. We have been getting EUCs getting pulled over by the police um, and such things. That's pretty interesting. What a perfect time to come out with a wheel that does way more than any other wheel, right? And that is even comparable to some uh, electric, high-powered electric bikes out here, you know? So it's just something to consider. It's like we, we are concerned about the speed but at the same time, we're getting situations or we're having situations, encountering situations where we have the police getting involved with, uh, with riders. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, come on, what's going on? Is this the right time to release such a wheel? You know what I mean? Because if you think about it, if you think about it, okay. it's going against everything we're trying to do. We're trying to allow these things to be under the radar and yet we're promoting 93 miles per hour now don't get me wrong we haven't actually seen 93 miles per hour but it is being promoted so i find that interesting that we're heading in that direction full steam ahead knowing full well that we could potentially be in trouble it's just very interesting but who cares right who cares as long as it's not banned in every single state a lot of us don't mind but here's what I want to talk about. I want to discuss the P6. Is 93 miles per hour achievable on that wheel? Because we haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen anyone pull, you know, 93 miles per hour. Now what is impressive, and I'm not gonna lie, what is impressive is how at 30% battery, apparently you're able to hit 60 miles an hour on that wheel that's very interesting that is very interesting actually because i know with big gold you can do like i don't know at 35 percent under load you can actually push the wheel up to like i don't know depending on the wheel but i have a wheel that does 50 miles an hour this exn i can push it to like 40 40 45 no problem you know what i mean so this is going to be a short video guys, so truth is 
there is a lot of excitement about this B6 for real. A lot of excitement. So guys, the excitement is real. People are insanely excited. But everyone is talking about the Emotion P6 and the crazy 93 miles per hour, right? It's a claim, hasn't been substantiated yet. But the numbers on paper don't always match what happens on the road, and we all know this. In the real world, uh, we have you know, top speed depends on the rider, uh, weight, the terrain, the battery voltage, which we know is pretty up there, uh, tire pressure, PWM limit, etc. Now, most riders uh, estimate the top speed to be around uh, 75 to 80 miles per hour. This is going by the forums and stuff like that. And what we've seen with our own eyes from in motion themselves, uh, that's before hitting the 80% uh, PWM. Now, the danger lie where the motor starts running out of headroom. We know that in motion took care of that, so we're not really concerned about that. The range is another story though. In motion says the wheel can do about 93 miles per hour but that's under perfect lap conditions and we actually haven't seen in motion do a uh, range test. Now we did see, uh, is it, uh, I forgot his name, I'm sorry, sorry, Albert. We did see Albert um, ride the P6 down to a certain percentage, um, but we didn't actually see, I personally didn't see a true range test with, you know, stats and stuff, the way Marty does it. So, so in motion says 93 miles, but you know, that's kind of iffy. I think realistically, you're looking at around 45 to 60 miles if you're riding fast, maybe 70 if you're cruising slow or smooth. But because in my experience with the Inmotion uh, V13, it was a 3000 watt hour battery. I charged this thing to 100% and I drove 10 miles at like 50, 53 miles per hour. Um, and the battery was down to like 70% in, I would say about less than, it was definitely less than 10 miles, definitely less than seven miles, I would say. <clears throat> so, and I wasn't pushing. This was, this was a gradual uh, speed of 50. So once I got to 50 miles per hour, I wasn't asking any more current from the wheel. I was just gradually getting there, you know what I mean? So basically cruising at like 50, 45 to 50 miles per hour. And it was down to like, you know, 70%. So the P6 might be a monster, but important to, it's important to separate you know what they're marketing um, from the actual math awesome thank you so much miss really appreciate it this is what I get this is so delicious guys this is ugh, you gotta if you're on a weight loss journey which like I am because I'm trying to lose the amount I'm trying to pretty much have myself at a certain weight so that I can push my wheels as hard as I want without worrying about a cutout and obviously I'm trying to increase range as well so you know, one way to improve your uh, riding uh, stats is to lose weight. Or if you don't have, if you don't have that ability to lose weight, then just buy a bigger wheel or ride slower. But um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Is 93 miles per hour a real, t like a like stat? You know, like is it just on paper, or is this something that maybe someday a rider will be able to achieve? I think. Realistically, a, ri a rider can achieve that. I just think it's a matter of his weight because already people have pushed the wheel up to 70 miles per hour. I, I, I personally haven't heard of anything faster than that. I think in motion themselves pushed it up to 78 miles per hour. Beyond that, I haven't, I haven't seen anything higher. And um, I don't think it beeped either. And if it was at 100%, no beeps, and I'm not sure what the PWM was. I have no idea. And also, just you can't just pay attention to PWM, in my opinion, because I think you kind of have to go by the rider weight, the terrain, the wind, meaning the resistance, etc., and the tolerance. The tolerance would come in the form of the buffer. 
So how much buffer do you have at 80%? How much buffer do you have at 90%? You know what I mean? Um, meaning if you push it too hard, how much force will it take at 80% to drop it? You know what I mean? And I think InMotion has insane technology like they have with all their other wheels, where if you push it too hard, it'll start to lean back. You know, it gives you a forceful feed, uh, lean back or a tilt back uh, that would kind of prevent you from cutting it out. So on top of all of that, I think, or, or given all that technology, I think it is highly possible um, that you will be able to, um, to push 93 miles per hour. Anyway, um, is it important to hit 93 miles per hour? I don't think it is. I think, generally speaking, the reason InMotion came up with this is because they want to get rid of cutouts. And at least if you cut out, it will have nothing to do with how hard you push the wheel or how fast you push the wheel. And that gives most of us a ton of confidence because where are you going to ride 93 miles per hour? Nowhere. So let me know what you guys think in the comment. I will see you in the next dance.